F1 is a dangerous sport and it always will be. And I think sometimes as fans, we get so wrapped up in the entertainment that we forget this simple fact. But as the sport has grown and evolved, so is the safety measures. And one area is the survival cell or the monocoque. This is an integral section of the car that surrounds the driver. It is made of carbon fiber and is extensively tested to make sure the driver is safe at all times. But another safety feature that is an absolute godsend is the halo. At first it was majorly criticized, but now I think everyone can agree that this is probably one of the best additions to Formula One due to the fact that it saved many lives. It is made from titanium and covered in carbon, which means it can support up to 26,000 pounds of pressure or 12 tons or a London double decker bus. The halo protects the driver's head from other cars, other debris or other objects. And if we think back to Joe's 2022 crash at Silverstone, we can see how the halo is just brilliant at what it does. But one major thing we never want to see in F1 is a fire. Fires are a problem because it makes extracting the driver out of the car severely difficult. With F1 fuel being extremely flammable, this means that the fuel tanks have to be specially made. Kevlar is the special material used for F1 fuel tanks, which is further reinforced by rubber to prevent leaks. And yes, that is the same Kevlar that is used in bulletproof vests. But finally, onto the Hans device, or the head and neck support device. Everyone has seen a driver put one of these on and wondered what it is. Well, if a driver gets into a crash, it is there to limit head and neck movement to prevent injury. 